I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, that's life. You just never know, you know, what's going to happen. And the expectation, if you had asked me before, I would think if you're having a stroke, you probably know it when it's happening, but you don't. I stumbled. I had a lack of coordination in my left ankle, that I was feeling some tingling in my left arm. So my wife and I discussed it and decided, you know, let's go to the emergency room just to be sure and see what's going on. The first thing they did was a CT scan, and they mentioned that it seems like maybe you had a stroke, but we're not seeing that. The next step was then to undergo an MRI. When I got out, tried to get off the table and kind of get to the bed, I couldn't walk at all. I couldn't stand. My first question was, will I be able to recover? And the team of doctors said, that is the question that everyone has, and it's the right question, but unfortunately, there's no specific answer for that. But when you can't move something, you want to know, is this my future? I was very fortunate there was no brain issues. When the therapist came to my room and get you up with this walker and ended up walking 200 meters or thereabouts, which was, was ironic given that I was the fastest man in the world at that distance. It probably took 10 minutes for me to cover that distance that day, but I wasn't discouraged because I was taking instruction from my therapist the same way I took instruction from my coach. And it's what made me return to my room and tell my wife, I'm confident I'm gonna make a full recovery. I was truly having to learn how to walk again. My motivation was, was phenomenal. My son is just going off to college, actually. I want to obviously be around for him and grandkids if, if I'm so lucky to, to have them and I don't want any restrictions. I want to get back my quality of life. This was different. It was all, all of a sudden going into therapy and going into the gym every day, twice a day with a real motivation. Nobody's clapping. There are no gold medals when I finish, you know, or, or runs on the track or in the weight room. That's a greater motivation than winning an Olympic gold medal, to be honest. Now it's more of trying to make sure that I take the time to relax, even if I don't feel like I need to. Relaxation for me a lot of times is go do a workout. I just sit down, you know? <laughs> and I do that a lot more and meditate, and um, yeah, that's good for me. Being a stroke survivor is part of who I am and always will be. I'll never know what caused this stroke. All I can do is do all that I can to minimize my risk of, uh, of a stroke and, uh, and live my life.